Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Right, I got sent two boxes. One is a new collection, which I can't show you yet. And the other one is a collection which is on the website. So I'm guessing I can show you these. They are cat eye gels. Oh my gosh, I love cat eye gels. And there's some really cool colors. I'm gonna show you. And then I was like, what the heck is this? What the heck? It's a cat eye magnet but it's not like any cat eye magnet i've ever seen a revolutionary double-ended cat eye magnet tool that is perfect for beginners and experts alike enjoy a strong magnet effect that delivers multiple stunning effects effortlessly do you want to see it <gasps> look how cool that looks it's got a magnet that end and a magnet that hang on let's just have a quick look on the website okay Right, if you go on the website and you put in cat eye, cat eye, um, this is actually what it is. So there is a cat eye gel bundle and you get six colors and the magnet. So we are gonna have a look at the, sorry, I'm trying to do this. Those are the colors, but I'll show you them up close. So. The, if you buy these as well, they're obviously on a deal, so you get saved some money. Um, if you buy anything full price, you can use my code NATMUG30 and you will save 10%. So I've got some Swatch Pops. I got these off Amazon because all mine were like random, random shapes and sizes. So I thought, right, I'm gonna get some new ones because I hate it when I swatch a collection and they're all different size swatches. So I've got six. By the way, I need to do my nails. Oh, I started them and I thought I'll do give myself a French this time. But look how long those are getting. Can't believe they've not fallen off yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with probably my least favourite colour, which is crispy leaves, which is a brown. Let's zoom in. I don't want to give you a headache by wobbling. Okay, let's play around with this magnet. So... Oh wow, look, they're like satiny. Actually, this kind of cat eye you could use. You you don't have to cat eye it, like magnet it. You could just use it as it is. I'll show you one second. So just make sure there's no bits of fluff on it because I hate when that happens. I wonder if we should put a colour underneath. I wonder whether we should bother with that. I don't think I'm going to. Actually, that's not that's not horrible that color oh wow yeah so oh, wow look at this Ooh. oh oh I wonder oh yeah this would take some getting used to I wonder if you could do it like underneath as well oh hmm back on the top look oh that's so pretty I'm just playing around here Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. If you want like that classic line, I don't think you could use this because that's not, oh, I think I've messed about with it too much. Hang on. So you know what I mean by that classic cat eye line. Let me grab this. Oh, the magnets come off it. Hang on a second, let's put that back in. Okay, so you'd need one like this. It's not in properly, but that would just sit over the top. And you get that classic cat eye line, which is just, I mean, these days, it's just a bit boring. And then you can obviously do, it depends how, how I, see like when I do magnets, I'm never quite sure which way it's gonna go. So I, and I, I sometimes like, actually the pigment in this gel polish moves really easily. Can you see, like that looks like a, I don't know, like a, oops. See, I don't even know what I've done now. That moves so easily. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, 
get off get off your swine so yeah i mean i suppose it just depends what you want to do doesn't it anyway i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over it i'm going to put it in the lamp and then i'm going to go over it again but that's the color if let's hang on let's just teach you coats whoops how long okay the product must be cured with led light for one minute and uv system two minutes i've got led i've got the madden glam elio lamp i don't even know if they still do that one i feel like i've had it for ages but it's done me well oh i just moved my chair down I'm exhausted. It's been a tiring week. I have got some news. I have quit my self-employed cleaning jobs. I say jobs. There was one that I was going to start and then there's one that I've been doing, but I've, I've told them that I can't do them anymore. It's absolutely exhausting and it's leaving me no time to do nails because when I, when I get home, I'm just tired and I just don't want to do anything. So I'm hoping this way, I'll have a bit more energy and do you know what i've really been missing doing nails like the last couple of weeks i've only really done one set a week so this would be two coats if you didn't cat eye it see these are really pretty just as they are i'm just trying to get the the lines all the way of something in there as well Oh, it's gone back on it. It's a hair or something. But anyway, look, that is what it would look like. I can't actually see because the light's shining on my phone. <laughs> but, and also with these ones as well, is if you take a dotting tool, you can like put, you can like make just weird patterns with this. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. We're just doing lots of swirls. You just end up with you see what I mean that um, those lines now are like swirls and I wonder if you could do you could sort of I don't know you could do anything really trouble is I don't want to see what I mean or if you didn't like it you could just say yeah not keen on that and just have those nice nice straight lines so let's try and use this little tiny see i used to do this gosh that that pigment moves so quickly wow that's really hard to whoops can you see that so that's two coats. The bottom coat we didn't cat eye, just the top coat. And then, not the top coat, the second coat. Okay, that's gonna go in for 60 seconds. So that one was crispy leaves, I think. Yeah, crispy leaves. This one is cozy weather. Oh, I love the names. <sighs> I'm, do you know what? I actually am getting excited. I rank a farm up about a Christmas tree today for the school and um, I'm feeling quite Christmassy. Sounds ridiculous, but I love Christmas. I could happily skip Halloween and go straight to Christmas. Yes, please. Actually, if you're in America, you need Thanksgiving first, don't you? But I, I um, oh no, there's something in my, hang on, let's get the tweezers. There we go. Don't pick it out with your fingers. So this one was cozy weather. This is kind of pinky. Okay, I'm going to pop that one in the... La Actually, let's do... Let's do our little lines again. Beep boop.
There we go. Oh, I love that. And then I'm gonna put that in the lamp. And then I'm gonna do the same thing underneath. Uh, I'm going to grab my, I don't know if that's, that might be a new one or an old one. It's got glitter on it or something. We'll, we'll have to do some matte and some shiny. I'm gonna do this one matte and see what it comes out like. This was the crispy leaves one. Because sometimes you get quite a cool effect. Right, let's shut that in. Okay, let's do the second coat on our Cozy Weather nail. And then I'm going to do the same pattern that we done before. So that up there. Gosh, it's really hard to do it. There we go. Wow, that's quite cool. Okay, that can go in. I'll show you what the other one looks like. Let me just give it. There we go. So that is that. This one is matted. And you get this really like cool. But like you can still see the cat eye underneath, but you just get this really weird. I don't know how you, I don't know how I'd describe it, but I think that is so cool. It's almost like a frosted, frosted glass. I've, yeah, I can't explain it. Anyway, I think that's well nice. The next one though, I am going to do shiny so that we get a. What do we get? A. I don't want to do them all the same. That makes sense. Yes, I'm sure it does make sense. That's. This is us just playing around with cat eyes today, I think. I'm showing you the colours. Does anyone else like cat eye gels or can you take them or leave them? I have to admit, I don't use them that often. But I absolutely, I just, I love, I, I really like them. Uh, so we've done crispy leaves and cosy weather. Now I'm going to do this one, which is called Sweet Merlot. So this is like a ready pink, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's give it a swatch. Oh yeah, look at that. They're so satiny looking. I think one we should just do like absolutely plain. I really like that colour. Let's just have a fiddle with it. I wonder if we can do this one again. The trouble is, this, this just seems a little bit too strong, this one. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, that's quite cool. Gosh, that is... That's really nice. I like that. I'm going to keep that one like that. Let's shove that in the lamp and then do. So this was, this is the shiny one. And then that was the matte one. You see what I mean though about the matte effect? Anyway, I think cat eyes are really cool. Sweet Merlot. Oh, they keep sticking together. Stop it. Trouble is, now I've done that first coat with the cat eye, how I've done it, I've got to try and do this second one. You don't have to put two coats on, I suppose. The only thing is, is the... Um... Let's try and remember what I 
tone. There we go. So it kind of goes, we've kind of got a cat eye swoosh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that like that. Oh, and I love, look, look how it just, oh, I love it so much. I'm gonna keep it like that. I don't know if to do that one matte or shiny, so I shall leave that one for a minute. Then I'm going to do, oh, let's go with this one. This is called Sleepy Morning, but it looks like a, it looks quite silver on the top, but I think it's, it's obviously a blue. Oh yeah, it's like a steel blue, like a, oh, it's well nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do a plain, a plain first coat and then we can, we can have a faff with the, the pigment on the second coat. So I'm going to shove that in. Well, I think actually we should do this one matte because the first one we done matte. So We'll go matte shiny, matte shiny, because I think that would just be easier for me to. Then I don't really have to make a decision. <laughs> okay, now we're back to this one. Let me just do that. Oh, I love that colour. So nice. This is going to be really nice for winter. What was it called? A sleepy morning. That was me this morning. Honestly, I've been so exhausted. Like come the weekend, I literally need like two days to recover from my week. It's been crazy. Okay, I don't know what to do with this one. Let's try and do that whole that thing that I used to do. Where it would be really shiny on the top, really bright on the top. Trouble is when I do that, it doesn't look like it's done a lot. Oh, I just love these. Was that too much? Shall I leave it like that? Nice and bright. Yeah, we'll leave that one like that. Actually, no, let's. I wanna kind of make it darker down one. Let's see if I can do it this side as well. So that it's kind of just down the middle. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> okay, that's going in. And then that's that one. It looks like, it almost looks like to me, like there's water moving underneath, but I don't know if I'm, I might not be explaining that very well. So that's that was Sweet Merlot. That's actually a really nice color. Um, right, the blue one, we are going to shiny because the last one, we matted. Um, I'm going to do the purple last because it's my favourite, I think. So, autumn breath and it's green. I can just imagine it smells gross. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, it might not do, it might smell amazing. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. This reminds me of like a satin bridesmaid's dress or something. I do like a green. My least favourite green is probably like, um, I don't know, but I really like pastel greens, like limes and bright greens, like neon greens. I think they're nice. There we go, that's that one. Right, should we faff around with this? What are we gonna do with this one? 
I wonder if I could do two lines. Oh, I can, but I don't like that. I prefer them curly, wiggly. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to do one in the middle and then we're going to go the opposite way to the other ones. easy that is to manipulate that's crazy some might say a little bit too easy right I'm gonna put that in uh, that is in for 60 did I shiny this no I did not let's give this a shine did I do it no it's sticky Oh, at least these have a tacky layer. I don't know if it's if it's generally um, HEMA-free products in general, but a lot of the time I find they don't really have much of a tacky layer, which if you want to add like pigments and stuff, which you might want to do over these, but you probably won't, I don't know. You can't really do it if it doesn't have a tacky layer. You have to then add like a base coat to add a tacky layer. So this is going to be our shiny one. Right, let's go over this one again. I was listening to The Greatest Showman while I was cleaning today. Normally I listen to Christian music, but today I fancied a change and I sang my little heart out. The church hall has got, do they call it acoustic? What do they call that? Like, like it's got this, your voice just echoes. It's not a massive hall either, it's just like, but honestly, if you sing really well, which I don't, it's it sounds amazing, I bet. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do this. So this one we went, we went there and then we went, we went there. That is so cool. I really like these. That is, oh, I just can't cope. I cannot cope. Okay, that's our blue shiny one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the purple, but right, we're going to matte the green one and this purple one. I'm going to do um, like we've done the sweet Merlot one. I'm going to do like a swoosh, but I'm going to try and get the swoosh going in the other direction. Oh my gosh, look at this color, it's amazing! <gasps> Stop! Oh, that's lovely. How nice is that? So we used this one, didn't we? We used the one, and this time I'm going to try and go in this direction so that the swoosh goes. I wonder what happens if I use the other side? I don't know. There we go. There we go, so we've got a bit of a swoosh going on. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I'm happier with that. Right, that can go in. This one, we need to mat. Where's my mat gone? Here it is. This is all oh, this sort of green always reminds me of like um like like po like witch's potions or like a cauldron you know like inside a cauldron that's that's what that reminds me of that greeny kind of color 
So if you do want to do Halloween nails, you could do that if you wanted to. Right. Oh, I don't know if I put it on for... Oh, hang on a second. Right, let's take this one out now. This is just absolutely gorgeous, this colour. I'm glad I saved this one till last because I love it. I should have done this in a live, shouldn't I? I did want to do more lives. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. It's not because it's hungry. Okay, so let's try and get our swoosh. I think I am. I think I'm happy with that. What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Shove it in, Nat. Shove it in. Okay, this is. Oops, I just knocked that one. This is our. That is so cool. Isn't that really cool? I don't know if I don't know if you can see. I honestly, I'm not sure if it's picking up the effect that this, this gives because I can't really see from my phone very well <laughs> but the matte ones wow I really really like the matte ones they just look they look wild wild especially these ones they look like that kind of that kind of glass I don't know but they look well nice waiting for our last one we are going to map the last is it matte no we're going to shiny the last one so let me put the matte top coat away because i do get a little bit excited with the matte top coat don't i actually yeah this is good that we're shining this one because we've done the sweet merlot with the matte so this one will be good because it will be shiny so you can see a an example of both Oh, there's a hair. They always come out of nowhere, don't they? Gosh, that's a whopper. Oh, there's another one. Uh, yes, there is. There's another one. I'll get it and then I'll... Do you know what it probably is? It's because... Oh, there's loads of them. I've been letting Ted on my desk and... He, uh... Obviously, he's a dog. I hate these wipes. I need to get some new wipes. I hate all my wipes at the moment, but I've got so many. I just think, just use them up. There we go. Let's go over it again. one so let's just have a quick recap of what we've got we had six colors the first one was crispy leaves which was a kind of oh, I don't know what you want to call it like a soft brown soft brown is it and then that one we matte finished so that was crispy leaves that's actually quite a good good name and then we had this one which was cozy weather this was the more i can't pick it up this was the more pinky color and this one we done the the kind of curvedy bits with the shiny top coat so that's that one i'm going to show you them all together as well in a second so don't panic then we done this sweet mallow which was a bit more of a darker kind of ready burgundy-ish kind of color i actually really like this one it's really nice and this one we done a swoosh so it's not it's not as obvious as the other ones but you can still see it and then this one we matte finished because we decided well i decided that we was going to do them in order this is the sleepy morning which is that kind of silvery blue and that one i wanted to get no pigment down the side and just have a lot of the pigment at the front so it looks kind of 
like nice and bright at the front. And then this one we shined because the last one we matte top coated, but that is that one. It's so pretty. And then we went with the green because I saved the purple till last because it's my favorite color. And the green was Autumn Breath. And again, I just love the effect that you get when you matte top coat these cat eye gels. That just looks so cool. It's almost mesmerizing. I can't stop looking at it, but that's that one. And then last but not least is the purple, which was my favorite. It's called Late September. I don't think I told you that earlier, but how nice is that? And this one was shined because the last one we matted. And this was the, this is the swoosh. So this swoosh we done this way and this swoosh we done this way. So that is what this, I don't actually think the swooshes look that good matte top coated. I think the ones that look good matte top coated are these ones that we done the little curves on. Let me put the shiny one in the middle so you can compare. Just move those out of the way. So obviously the two outside ones are the matte ones, but they look, I think they look really cool. <coughs> oh, I need to cough. <coughs> oh, I got a tickle. Yeah, so that's those. I'm not honestly sure which is my favorite. I do really like the purple, but I really like Sweet Merlot and I actually really like the green. And I like the blue, but I wish I'd done a different, I wish I'd done something different on the blue but there we go it's done now but that's all of them they are on the website as a bundle so you can save some money if you buy them separately and they come up on your in your cart as full price if you use code natmug30 you can save 30 percent. but i will link them below god bless love you all and i'll see you in the next one love you bye